Hi everybody, Danielle here again. Um, this is just a short little video clip, a little response to Firstikin's video about Paul being a false apostle. Um, firstly, I just need to say, Firstikin, that um, this video is in no way intended um, as anything angry or um, or anything like that. Um, I'm purely coming to you from a direction of love guided by the Holy Spirit. Um, and I felt compelled to, to put this video up mainly because um, your video raised alarm bells for me. Um, I have great difficulty believing that Paul could possibly be a false apostle. Um, firstly, he, he, it's, it's a vast majority of the New Testament. Um, now you may say, look, all right, well, just because it's in the New Testament and it's written book by human beings, that doesn't necessarily make it um, gospel. Well, I actually think it does. Um, and look, don't take my word for it, study scripture. Um, God's word is the written word. I can fully believe that every single book of the New Testament and the Old Testament is divine inspired works um, by the Holy Spirit. Um, people, prophets, um, apostles, guided directly from God himself um, through his Holy Spirit um, to write inspired words and as such God inspired words um, and as such um, God is I mean God created everything if you believe the Bible and you're a Christian then you have to believe that God created everything um, I have recently had it pointed out in a very very good series of videos which is actually linked on my channel um, they're not my videos um, that Genesis and uh, the six-day account with the seventh day being rest um, plus the rest of the 6,000 years uh, from the time of Adam onwards actually match up with science. That was a big thing that I had a, a problem with for quite a while. Um, I thought, oh, oh, no, I'm a scientific person. I'm, I'm, I'm qualified in sciences. Um, the science fascinates me. Um, quantum field theory fascinates me. Uh, electronics fascinate me. The whole thing fascinates me. So I had a problem with the whole literalness of the six day creation um, but that has been since um, backed by this very very good series of videos um, using Einstein's theory of relativity la -di -da, to um, describe how science and the Bible actually match up um, so I highly recommend anybody um, if you haven't seen those videos already they are very enlightening um, if you like me had problems trying to fathom the concept of the six day Literal, literal, the literalness of the Genesis account. Um, these will hopefully help clear it up. Anyway, that's getting off the topic slightly. Um, basically, I believe that everything in the Old Testament and the New Testament is a divine inspired written word of God, inspired by the Holy Spirit, written by, by people inspired by the Holy Spirit. Um, so as such, I cannot possibly accept that Paul um, being a large majority of the writings in the New Testament is a false apostle, especially when you consider that Paul was um, Paul was called by God himself. Um, you look at the fruits of his work, look what he did, um, the fact that he he, he bought so many, look, he, yeah, sure, he brought so many people to Christ. He also caused conflict, but so did Jesus. Um, Jesus didn't cause the conflict himself. It was people's reaction to the reality of, of who God is and the fact that they didn't want to confront that. That's what caused the conflict, and that's what still causes conflict today. I'm very young in, in my walk with Christ. Um, I still have a lot to learn, um, but I am being guided by the Holy Spirit, and make no mistake, I know for a fact that it's the Holy Spirit and not a false, um, a false Christ or an antichrist or anything that's guiding me. The way the Holy Spirit um, filled my heart and guided me was because I was originally, three or four weeks ago, guided to, to read. I, I asked God. I, I basically, I didn't believe at this point, and I was studying the New World Order, I was studying the mess that the world's in, I was studying all sorts of things like that, and I started to think, this is crazy, what's the world coming to, what's going on here? So 
I realised that I, I had this book called the Bible and I've never actually read it properly. I've never read it in context. I, I've, I've, I've learned verses and I've had people teach me. 17 years ago I became part of a, a born again, um, a group of born again Christians um, who tried to guide me in the right direction. Um, but even then I didn't read the full word of God. Um, I just believed little bits and pieces that they told me and, and little things so the Holy Spirit really didn't have any <laughs> my, the fruits of my work back then basically said that the Holy Spirit wasn't guiding me so um, anyway 17 years pass very very dangerous for me because I'd heard the word of God and I really hadn't been um, born again if you if you want to call it that or born of the Holy Spirit or or um, I'm I tend to be a little reluctant to use terminology of um, organized religion these days because a lot of organized religion has gone off the path as you state uh, Fistican, uh, that I do agree with um, there are people who are genuinely of the faith and genuinely repent. Generally, that the, the fruits of their work do reflect the Holy Spirit and the, and the work of, of God through them. Um, anyway, I'm getting off the getting off the topic again. Um, go back to to two or three weeks ago, um, maybe four weeks ago. I can't remember exactly what date it was. Um, but my reawakening to Christ. Um, I after being confused by all this this mess that the world is in, I said to God, knowing that I had the Bible here, I said, God, look, I, I don't understand your word. Please guide me. Please, please show me. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know that you're real. I want to know. I want to know the truth. I, I would I, show me. Um, so I basically, I, I prayed really, really hard then. I prayed, I prayed, I, I, I practically begged God to, to come into my life and make, straighten out all this mess. Um, and allow me to, to see the scripture and allow me to, to, to see it in its, in its true glory and what it really means. So I thought, well, I'll open, I'll open the Bible and instead of re looking on random pages for, for little verses that might make sense on their own, I'll read the Bible in true context, read full books of it. Um, and I let the Holy Spirit guide me into which book I should read first. And it just so happened that the book that I read first the, the very the, the first one I was guided to, to read was the book of Acts um, and it was very quickly in reading the book of Acts that's when the Holy Spirit had a massive impact on my life and the feeling was, it was it was absolutely unmistakable it was I'd asked God for guidance directly he guided me to, to, to read his book in its entirety which I still haven't done yet but I've read the book of Acts and I'm now reading Matthew um, and referring back to the Old Testament when the scriptures refer to that and I read that part in context to match in with the, with the scriptures that I'm reading currently anyway it was through reading the book of Acts that the, that the Holy Spirit touched my heart and changed my life um, so for that reason too I, I, I simply cannot accept that such a, a, a profound life transformation for, for me to accept who Jesus Christ really is and what he did for us and the love that God shown through providing us a path, a, a doorway into heaven um, that came through reading the writings of Paul in the book of Acts um, look, you may think that's no proof. You know, back it up with scripture, back it up with evidence. La da 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 da. You've got all, all this proof that that um, that Paul was a, a false apostle. I, I you know, the, I could go through and quote everything and, and look for things in the Bible and put references up, but I'd much rather, as you can tell from my little fumblings and everything in this video, I haven't written any of this. Um, this is coming straight from my heart. Um, I felt that it wasn't uh, it wasn't appropriate to, to try and script this out and write it out so my words were perfect on screen. Um, I'd much rather this be a heartfelt message. And first of all, please, um, I pray that you, you will be guided by the Holy Spirit to reconsider your um, perspective on Paul. Your original videos, a lot of the other videos you've got there, I love your videos. 
and as your sister in Christ, I love you too. It makes my heart ache to think that, that Satan could be getting in, sneaking in through his little lies and deception, which he's so good at doing. He can deceive every one of us. He can trick us, and he does trick us, and he tries everything he can to trick us. So please reconsider. I, 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 I pray for you, brother. Um, don't take my word for it. I mean, I'm just a person. I can get things wrong. Um, and I do get things wrong. I get plenty of things wrong. I'm not perfect. Um, that's, but praise God for for, for providing a, a, a way for for us to learn and grow and get to heaven in the process. Um, anyway, I've gone on a little bit longer than I expected to go. So um, hopefully this um, hopefully this will will help to change your direction. Um, all the best and may, may God bless you um, and God bless you all.